Hello everyone, I'm Zichang Xu from Baidu Research. Today I'm going to talk about our recent work, a particle Romania algorithm for computing dominant genus dark space. This is a joint work with Dr. Pini from Baidu Research as well. Let's start from the question, what is the dominant genus dark space here? Dominant genus dark space is considered for a pair of real symmetric matrices C A and B, with B being positive definite. Its dominant say k dimensional genus dark space is a k dimensional subspace spanned by a b the genus eigenvectors corresponding to k largest genus dark minus. Here we see that the u j is a b the genus dark vector corresponding to the g's largest genus dark minus lambda g if it satisfy the equation here. The target dark space u then is spanned by u one to u k. The computation of dominant genus dark space has many applications in scientific computing and machine learning, particularly it is widely applied in high dimensional statistics such as canonical correlation analysis, facial discriminant analysis, and sufficient dimension reduction. These statistical tools are in turn broadly used in regression, clustering, classification, and word embedding. To compute the dom dominant genus dark space, we could simply convert it into the standard case with the Chinese decomposition on B. This is implemented in MATLAB's X function. However, due to the Chinese definition, it is only applicable to small data. Lang source algorithm with proper error handling can be used as well, but it is sensitive to cumulative error. Recently, exact performance that was proposed and the theoretically justified on the efficiency for this problem. However, empirical performance is still unsatisfactory. Also, stochastic generous Herbie algorithm was proposed but it requires a community of matrices and has a poor empirical performance. In this work, we adopt a remaining optimization approach. First, it can be formulated into the minimization problem of the negative trees on the so-called generalized C four manifold, which is defined by the constraint here. The so control solution to the minimization problem is exactly if it's dominant, uh, it, it's dominant the k-dimensional generalized eigenspace space U. Then we can run the remaining green decent method to get the solution. Specifically, in each step, we move from the current iterate along the negative remaining gradient. Note that the, re the remaining gradient belongs to the tangent space of the manifold at the current iterate. Thus, moving along the remaining gradient means getting all of the manifold. As we know, remaining optimization methods are feasible methods, which means that the iterate remains on the manifold in each step. Thus, we need the iterator that has stepped into the tangent space to get back to the manifold, which can be done by a, re by a retraction operation, for example, the boner decomposition based retraction. In the course of creating the computation, we need to take care because the inverse of matrix B is present, and the naive computation by inverting B is computationally prohibited. Fortunately, we can efficiently approximate the matrix multiplication with the inverse of B in that box. But at least the squares is over because it is the exact solution to at least the squares problem. It is smooth and strongly convex and thus can be solved by a number of well established optimization methods such as accelerated stochastic gradient descent, accelerated randomized coding descent, and so on. Particularly, we can leverage the previous information to warm start the least squares over. Finally, we get an exact remaining gradient. Another important issue in practice is about how to set the step size for each step. For both ease of use and the acceleration in practice, we use the post remaining BB step size, alpha t, which carries the effective second order information at a low cost, as shown here. The efficient approximation comes from emitting vector transport between remaining gradients and using in exact remaining gradient computed just now. The remaining BB step size is intended from the Euclidean counterpart, which aims to choose a scanner as the step size so that the scanner multiplication the scanner multiplication of the gradient approximates the Newton direction. Thus, we only need to set the initial step size. The overall algorithm is the described here. In addition to the initial step size, we also need to specify specify a list of squares over denoted as the LRS in algorithm one, where x0 is the starting point. The algorithm starts from a random point in line three and then run in each step the list of squares over in line five to get the index remaining in line six. After that the BB step size is computed and followed by the 
retracting to get the new iterate. Here we provide a general analysis for the algorithm based on our characterization of the solution space. The goal is to accommodate all the cases of the matrix pair AB, not limited to those having a positive case eigengap. Having this in mind, the solution space then can be determined by two subspaces, U K prime and U K double prime, where eigengaps are the two integers K prime and K double prime that are nearest to and crossing K are uh, positive. Accordingly, an eigenstructure where a potential function can be de defined by an extension of the Martin distance. Then we can define a structured eigengap at the minimum of two eigengaps at the K prime and the K double prime, which always remains positive. And the convergence rate can be stated in terms of this always positive eigengap as follows. Here we use the next row with accelerated gradient distance as the least squares over, and the simpler step size scheme are used for ease of analysis. The dependence on the new eigengap is quadratic. This type of dependence on the case eigengap appeared in previous, in previous analysis as well, but the lacks of generality. We now show some experiments on the proposed algorithm denoted as the RG Gini link compared to the Gini link and the, the stochastic generous Herbie algorithm with a different subsides. We use the precondition the CG as the least, least the squares tower. And the first test on the synthetic data with the specified gaps using relative objective error and the squared sign value of a principal angle between iterate and the ground truth as the, the quality measure. Lower is better for each measure. From the figure on the right, we can see that our algorithm performs consistently much better than the two baselines, while Gini Ling's performance depends crucially on the gap. We also test on challenging real data with small gaps. Again, our algorithm works pretty well, while the other two, especially the stochastic generous herpes algorithm, are almost not working. More experiments can be found in our paper. So the conclusions are that we propose the practical remaining algorithm for dominant generous eigenspace computation. It's easy to use and can leverage first list squares over and achieve second order information for acceleration. A general analysis is provided as well. And the extensive experiments demonstrated its excellent performance in practice. For future work, we may think about improving the dependence on the new gap and theoretically analyze the effect of the BB step size scheme on the performance. That's all for the talk. Thank you for your attention.